Makoto Gobara was a painter and a teacher of Japanese art. From 1917 until he left Taiwan in 1936, he taught students at the number three high school for girls. He also mentored male students like Guo Xuehu. He painted many beautiful paintings of Taiwan's scenery, flowers and birds. Here we discuss some of the works in the Taipei Fine Arts Museum's collection. Much earlier, around 2000, the museum had in its collection two works depicting Taiwanese plants painted in the ukiyo or floating world style. Indigenous Flowers of Taiwan This kind of work belongs to the Southern Kingdom or Nanguo style, depicting plants and flowers in bright colours. He painted many interesting flowers, such as poinsettia. Poinsettia at that time was also called orangutan wood, the colour of an orangutan. He painted hibiscus, which at that time in Taiwan was used everywhere for borders. The Japanese saw hibiscus as a representative flower of Taiwan. He also painted wood hibiscus, water lilies, Oleander, which was a popular subject for many painters. He painted a screen of Oleander, a very big one. He painted arrowroot and yellow cicadas. This work is particularly interesting. Our collection originally only had nine panels. Later, his family from Nagano Prefecture found out the museum had this work in its collection. His descendants had another cover called Indigenous Flowers of Taiwan, and they donated it to the museum. That's the reason we came to have this cover. We can see Lantern Flower, more hibiscus here. You can see the hibiscus is a plant seen as representative of Taiwan. This work shows 12 scenes from Taipei. The cover shows students of the number three girls high school, two female students holding an umbrella. They are wearing fashionable shoes, that is western style shoes. We have Guanyin Mountain, Taipei Bridge, Longshan Temple, what is now the Museum of Drinking Water. Here is Beitou, the office of the Governor General, and Rongding, now Hongyang Road, and a new park completed in 1916, with the museum as its backdrop. There is the botanical gardens, where the students would often go. Then two depictions of Bitan. Bitan at that time was on the outskirts of Taipei, so its beautiful scenery was a bit outside of the city and attracted day tourists. This imposing work is of Taiwan's mountain scenery. There are four screens. This panel was painted in 1930. And this is a work from 1931. This is a view of Ali Shan, painted in 1934. We see the woods on the left, and on the right there is a Formosan rock macaque beautifully painted, but you have to look for him very carefully. The last screen is Taroko Gorge, painted in 1935, mainly in ink, on paper. It wasn't until he returned to Japan that he added the colour, with blues and greens for the rocks to give it this colourful appearance. These Koto Gobara works in the Taipei Fine Arts Museum 
show us his observations of Taiwan's scenery and contemporary mood. Interestingly, his family who gave us the cover for Indigenous Flowers of Taiwan also donated a piece called Mount Penglai. It's an earlier work by Gobara which dates back to 1914. Penglai is a mythical island, at one time a synonym for Taiwan. Though it's a traditional style of painting, like a mythical mountain, you could imagine it as such or we could just directly call it Taiwan. Taiwan, for these artists from Japan, really was a place of discovery, which later became a home. After they went back, it was like a paradise that they dreamed about, 